welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Charlie Bird was one of Ireland's most prominent journalists and broadcasters, inextricably linked with the great changes in Irish life through the decades. Born in Dublin in 1949, Charlie Bird began his career in RTE in the early 70s, rising through the ranks to become the station's chief news correspondent. Just two days ago, a short distance from where I'm standing, two British soldiers were killed in a booby trap bomb. His unmistakable reporting was central to some of the seminal moments of the late 20th century, including the 1981 Stardust Fire, in which 48 young people lost their lives. These and other questions will have to be answered. Lending his support ever since to the family's long campaign for justice. He reported from the front lines of the Troubles and the subsequent peace process. And along with his colleague George Lee, broke the story about National Irish Bank's tax evasion scheme. We're now in the heart of Ground Zero, where once the Twin Towers stood. Internationally, he covered the September the 11th attacks and the 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake and tsunami. Powerful earthquake. He was appointed RTE's Washington correspondent in 2009, famously tracking down the former Anglo-Irish bank chief David Drum in Cape Cod as Ireland reeled from the banking crisis at home. Oh, they're there. He's there. It's Charlie Bird from RTE. So he, why are you ducking down? I want to talk to you. He retired from RTE in 2012, but Charlie Bird very much remained a fixture in Irish life as a leading voice, chairing the launch of the Yes Equality marriage referendum campaign. In October of 2021, he revealed he had motor neuron disease, a diagnosis he was given after experiencing trouble speaking. He used his platform to raise awareness about the disease, his Climb with Charlie campaign saw him take on Croke Patrick and led thousands of supporters to scale peaks across the country and beyond, raising more than €3 million Euro for the Irish Motor Neuron Disease Association and Pieta House in 2022. He vowed for as long as he was alive to extend the hand of friendship to those who needed it, a promise he kept until the very end as he continued to raise funds for charities, even as his own health deteriorated. Just two weeks ago, he appeared on the Brendan O'Connor show on RTE Radio, reflecting on his life and the prospect of dying. As with everything else, he faced it on the full with courage. I always tell the same story. I failed every exam, never went to university, but I succeeded in my career. I am proud of that. I also have a wonderful family who have been by my side since my diagnosis. That helps me when I need support. I have come to terms with my illness, that it is terminal and there is nothing that I can do to change that. So in answer to your question, no, I am not afraid of dying. Charlie Bird is survived by his two daughters, Nasa and Orla, his wife Claire, and his constant companion, his dog Tiger. Richard Chambers, Virgin Media News.